This morning's title is Baby Cradles and Battle Axes. I'm going to speak to you today about images, specifically images of faith. Images are important because they create spiritual impression. Spiritual impression creates understanding. Understanding creates demonstration. But if the image is wrong, so is the emulation. Think about this for a moment. What is spiritual impression? but an imprint upon our faith. So if we have the wrong image, we have the wrong imprint, which means we have the wrong impression. Each person must determine, do we want to see things as they really are? And most importantly, do you want to see God as He really is? Or do you want to create fictitious images that are not reality, that will leave you deluded, deceived, unchanged, and confused. Because if you have the wrong image and the wrong understanding, then it's going to lead you to the wrong place. Are we honest people, humble people that will say, God, show me the way it really is. Show me the way you really are. I don't want a God or an idea or a faith that is conformed to my image of what it should be. But I want it to be His image. A heart is not an image of the love of God. When you see a heart, what does it conjure up? What image, what impression does it give you? Sweet, cute, soft feelings? The real image of love is the bloody Jesus on an old rugged cross. Jesus wasn't feeling cute on the cross the day that he died for you, my friend. In fact, he wasn't feeling lovely. But I can tell you this, he was demonstrating love at its highest level. God so loved. In 1 John chapter number 3 and verse number 1, the Bible tells us, Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called children of God. That word behold means gaze upon. Look at this. Look upon what? A heart? No. Look upon the bloody Jesus. Behold how God valued you. Behold what manner of love the Father has for you. That He would give His only begotten Son. That He would empty His wallet of His most valuable thing on the counter, on the checkout register, and say, you're worth it all. Even at your worst condition, he says they're worth it. Go get them. And as we have changed the image of God, as a result, we have mutated faith. We not only miss the meaning, but we can miss God that way. When Jesus walked the earth, most people missed him because, listen, they had an image of God and Jesus did not match that image. It's not that hard because it's about surrendering to who God is and not who I try to make him be. Confusion is the lack of the surrender to reality. When we get to that place where I'm willing to say, Lord, I just surrender. God, I surrender. I want to face whatever is reality. That's what I want. When we get to that place and do that, it becomes very easy. You'll see God as He really is, and you'll get the help, the expression, the love, the power, the salvation, the healing, the deliverance that you need because you're willing to let God be God. How does healing, salvation, deliverance come? It starts with accepting the reality of our condition. We don't want fictitious images about God or ourselves. We want the reality, who we really are, that we are broken, 
and that we are in need of God, that we are in need of help, healing, we are in need of saving. Woe is me, Lord. Here I am. Music to God's ears. Our look here in Ezekiel chapter number nine. Then he called out in my hearing a loud voice saying, let those who have charge over the city draw near, each one with a deadly weapon in his hand. And suddenly six men came from the direction of the upper gate, which faces north. Each with his battle axe in his hand. These are angelic beings. So when God comes to deal with his enemies, he sends things like that, not naked babies. And so when I pray and I say, God is for me, and there are more for me than are against me, it gives me great confidence knowing that entities like that, creations like that, with axes in their hand, are for me. You see the difference of the impression? You see the confidence you get right now? The guys with the battle axes, they're on your side. They're with you, my friend. It's not cute and it's not sweet. And when we are facing demons and evils of this world that threaten to drown us and our lives and despair and defeat, I need strength and power, not cute and sweet.